So the project at hand today is making this. Um, I got these plans from that guy. Uh, check him out. He's kind of funny. Pretty cool. Uh, seems to be relatively easy. Um, I've never bought uh, woodworking plans before. So this is my first attempt. So I ripped all the pieces. I didn't get that on video because it was too damn cold in the garage and I was just motoring through it. Um, <clears throat> so <clears throat> anyway, here, sorry the lighting is terrible, but you'll get the idea. The one cool thing that I got from the plants and I, I don't know, you know, I'm, I'm new to this woodworking stuff, so this is all kind of cool to, for me. But I, I don't know if you can see this. He had me, the cool thing was that he had, had us, or in the plans it calls for chamfering the edge here to make it a softer, um, uh, you know, it looks softer. It looks more finished, um, which is pretty nice. Instead of this is the rough side. Um, it just you know, I just I didn't have the chamfering bit for my router, so I just put the table saw at an angle. I think a 45, I believe it was, um, and I ripped them down. Uh, so anyway. Just thought I'd show that. It was, it was pretty cool. Uh, one thing I didn't pay attention to was the orientation of these pieces. So, let's see if you can see it here. So, if you look at this, this is shorter and this is longer. That's longer and that's shorter probably should have paid attention to the orientation but again it was so cold and uh, I didn't really care <laughs> uh, I was just powering through it I don't think it should make that much of a difference so the difference from here to here is an inch and a inch and three quarters from here to here is inch and seven eighths I don't think it's gonna matter that much visually it won't I don't think it's gonna really make a difference but we'll see um yeah so anyway i'm gonna glue these up and he says to glue them and then drill and as you can see i got pocket holes holes here so i'm gonna have to keep an eye on that somehow yeah i really screwed this up there's two sides to it to the uh thing here to the cooler patio cooler um i don't know how to I'm gonna remedy remedy this. I mean, it's all it's all it doesn't. There's there's no way to fix it because they're all oriented the same way. So, kind of screwed that up a little bit. It's all right. You live and learn, make mistakes. Um, anyway, what's wrong with you, dog? Evelyn. Hey. Get such issues. So, unfortunately, I didn't record um, me building this, but here's the finished product. Um, I still have to sand it down and put some poly on it because this is going to live outside year round. I drilled a, I think this is inch and three quarters, maybe it's inch and a half uh, with a Forstner bit lift this up and out this still needs to be sanded down a little bit these edges so it fits in here easier but there's a pretty good amount of storage here i want to say that opening is about 22 inches wide by 14 or 13 inches deep 13 and a half actually so it's a uh, pretty nice um i'm going to put a piano hinge along here so, and then 
I don't know what I'll do here. A little handle or something to lift this up and out. But right now, that's how I have to open it. This is the cooler. Um, you know, a lot of guys, what they do is use the cooler top. And then you have like a box on top here, which I don't really like that look. Um, I wanted it to be flush. So I got rid of the cooler top. I just cut it with a angle grinder and sanded it all down so it fit in here nicely. I'm gonna drill a hole, uh, blocking the light here. I'm gonna drill a hole there so that I could put a spigot on there to drain the water out. Um, for whatever reason, this igloo cooler did not come with a drain, which is so stupid. So, not a big deal. I can take care of that. But uh, I wanted this to fit flush so that you could use, you know, it's all, I didn't want that box over here. That was, that was kind of, to me, it didn't make sense and I didn't like the way it looked. Bottle opener will go here and maybe a couple hooks on that side to put your gr grilling tools. This here, this height is about two feet, which is nice. Um, I don't know, I put extra bottles, bottles of water and stuff, but it came out pretty good. I mean, it's all cedar, which is nice. Again, I did screw up with the sides, but no one's really gonna notice, I don't think, other than me. Um, that's just extra glue that came, that pushed out when I squeezed them together with the clamps. So I'll sand that down, or I think another way to get rid of that is, uh, with water. Not sure, but, uh, yeah, and the other thing I'm going to do is probably put casters at the bottom. My, uh, my wife had a pretty good idea that if this is living outside, for the season, a lot of water is going to be, you know, the, the legs will be end up, will end up sitting in water. The legs will end up sitting in water. Um, so, you know, casters will make it easier to move it around and then also keep it, keep the legs out of the water. So anyway, this was a pretty cool project. Um, took me a little while because I had some screw ups. If you're going to make this, the one suggestion I would have is start with the size of your cooler. That's the most important thing is starting with the size of your cooler. Everything else is based off of this cooler, all your measurements. I didn't do that. I just went off the measurements, the, the general measurements that I took originally and then just used the plans which hit the plans, cool, um, the cooler that are in the plans is different than this, obviously. Every cooler is going to be different. So that was my one screw up. I mean, it was just about an inch and a half off. So it wasn't the end of the world, but, uh, you know, it did require some modification after I had already built this top. So this piece was, this center piece was over an inch and a half. So I had to unscrew it and then move it over. And then there are supports underneath the cooler that are right here that the cooler sits in. That, those had to be moved around. Fortunately, none of this was glued together. None of these pieces are glued together. They're just held in with pocket holes from the underside. So it was easier to move them around. So I guess that's another suggestion I would have is don't glue these, just put them in as pocket holes.